Hi, it's What If Wednesday time with Susan Bennett Fisher and Martin Fisher, the co-founders of Body of Nine. So what if you knew what your gifts were and you knew how to give them? What we're going to be covering today is each of us has nine different centers in our body and each one of those centers has a gift associated with it. The one that's born active in you is going to determine your gifts, the ones that are innate to you, the things you can do easily, and perhaps even what is your superpower? Yes, so each of the nine natural numbers that each stem from having an activated region of the body, a differently activated region of the body, also have innate gifts and skills that are associated with your, your body. Your body. Yeah. Yeah, we, we struggle sometimes to describe this because it is so powerfully you. It is definitely your nature. And while it is your body, it's more than just your body. It's your body, it's your mind, it's your consciousness. It's how you develop and grow, mm -hmm. how you move, it's your physicality, it's your spiritual nature. Mm -hmm. Ugh, it is so um, intertwined with all of who you are. And, and I think it's one of the really powerful things about learning your natural number because you begin to understand what is your nature and then what's the nurture that's laid upon it. And we're not going to talk about nurture today. We're going to talk about the gifts associated with each of the natural numbers. Yes, and we're going to touch on just the minor thing that you may think or you may have been told what your gifts are. And your parents, your brothers, your sisters, the people you really admire, you may say, wow, I wish I was just like them. And you work really hard to be like them. So that's the nurture piece. But, but we're not going to talk, we're about, not going to talk about that today. <laughs> this is about what comes with your spacesuit. So yes. we're all equipped with a, a spacesuit here on planet Earth, traveling in, through the universe, and it is equipped differently depending mm -hmm. on what kind of a body you have. So the nine centers, there's three in the head, three in the chest, and three in the body. When you're born, one is born active. And the way that they trickle through the body is actually very interesting because the physically centered numbers are uh, starting at the bottom of the body, moving up about halfway. The less physically centered body centers go from about halfway and move up towards the head. So the three centers in the head, for example, five, seven, and one, and then there's natural number three at the top. These are the less physically informed. And you would centers. notice that the odd numbers as well. They are the odd numbers. It's very interesting how these numbers came together. And complete disclosure, we have no idea where these numbers came from. They came down through us. They've been... To us through the Enneagram, martial arts, observation from mm -hmm. a variety of systems. Yeah, clearly, this stuff has been known for quite a long time, thousands of years. In some forms. Not necessarily clear today. Not clear today. So yeah. we can't tell you where the numbers came from, but we can tell you where they are in the body. We can tell you how they relate to each other. We can talk about, uh, won't today, but we can talk about the relationship between the numbers. We can talk about the muscles, bones, and fascia that are involved in activation of that na each natural number. But today, we're talking about the gift. Yes. So uh, let's start backwards. We always start with one. And the nines always wait and wait. Yes. You know, patiently. We patiently. appreciate that, you nines out there. <laughs> but we're going to go start the nine and work backwards down yeah, to one. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. And we're going to keep things in balance. And nine, of course, is about balance. It's about flow. So what is the gift nines offer you? It's really about how do I be in life without using a lot of force on other people? Mm -hmm. How do I be more present and available? How do I use my breath? Mm -hmm. You know, each of the natural numbers uses breath a little bit differently. So the gift of, of nine is how do I breathe into my body? So you breathe into your body so that you release all the tension in it. So nines help us find this fluidity in our bodies that is hard for most of us to find. I know for me as a six, I have a lot of tension. Mm -hmm. So nine helps to release tension so that we can be in the world with less force. And I'm sure there are those of you asking, well, if one, three, five, and seven, we talk about as odd numbers, and they're in the less bodily connected, and the two, four, six, and eight are more bodily connected, where does nine sit in that? It's kind of the connector between the, the two. Connector between the two. And it's its own thing as, as well. I, well. I love the numerology of nine because uh, nine doesn't affect a, a numerologically uh, uh, evaluated equation, equation yes. right? It just increases the total number. But if you resolve it, it always resolves back to the same number, whether nine is in there or not. And if you want to learn about numerology, you can go Google it. But basically, every number, and no matter what size, can resolve just to one digit. 
And the digits are naturally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. So nine is also like when you want to get something done that's big and you can't figure out all the parts, uh, involving a nine to understand what it's going to take mm -hmm. uh, is, is, is powerful because a lot of us get started on something and don't understand all the implications. So nines help us understand the implications on the whole. You have to be willing to hear what they have to say. And if you are a natural number nine, then your gift, your power, your superpower, if you will, there's a few of them. We like to describe natural number nines as being able to feel the force, Luke, if you will. They live in this ether of flow where every tide, every birth, every death happens. They keep us in balance because they can see when things are not going in balance completely earlier than the rest of us. And while it may not be your job as a natural number nine to fix that imbalance, it actually is your job to raise your hand and say, there is imbalance here, things are going wrong, because the rest of us don't know. And here's a practical example of how nine can impact. We had built our website out and we thought we were in pretty good shape and nine went through and said, oh, well, the flow doesn't work here. And the look and feel is, you know, it, too, it actually eliminates or makes some people feel uncomfortable. So he smoothed our website and the team's first response was, well, all the fun gone out of it. Well, that's not, that's not true. It's still very fun, but it no longer made anybody feel uncomfortable. Yes. So he took the discomfort and the directions out of it so that it was receivable by everybody. And so your natural number nine is very much about making things acceptable to everybody. And you don't Inclusive. have to change who you are. Mm -hmm. to make that true. Right. So that's nine. That's nine. Yeah, and, then, and, and nine is also about the beginning and the end. You guys help us get things started and you guys help us bring things to a close and integrate what happened, uh, break it all back down into its, its disparate parts and then bring it all back again. And, and, and it's the cycle of life, birth through to death, through to regeneration. Mm -hmm. So that is that. Those are the really most amazing and powerful gifts that nine. nine offers. And I'm going to put my feet on the floor now because we're going to do eight. Oh, we're going to do mm. eight. Okay, I'll do that too. That's better. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. So eights help us feel our bodies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and to begin to listen. It turns out every cell of your body, all the blood flowing through your body, through your whole being, is informing you if you bother to listen to it. It is this. Uh, cornucopia of magical information. Awareness. One of the things that I just became aware of putting my feet on the floor, getting into my body, is that no matter what our natural number, our bodies are the source of information about what's going on around us in the rest of the world. And activating natural number eight makes that hundreds of times more appropriate. And more available to more you. More available, more accurate. Your bodies are amazing devices. All our bodies are amazing devices. And natural number eight, your gift is helping us know through our bodies what's safe, what's trustworthy. It's, it's an amazing what's power. What's real. What's real. What's needed. Yeah. How do we build with integrity yeah. and skill? Who needs to be doing what? Yeah. You know, eight brings it together to manifest. Yes. And looking after that amazing spacesuit that is always giving us information and tapping into how to use that information. This is the gift that comes with you, natural number eights. And the rest of us can learn to activate and feel that energy. But man, you're the ones that own it. Yes, and keep us all honest yes. um, on our path uh, and making our contribution. And that is, uh, you know, when uh, in, a, in terms of a practical example, um, on our board of directors, uh, we had a natural number eight and she was the one who knew what we had to do when, yep. you know, she, she's like, Oh, well, Susan, you have to fill out this form and you have to do this. And so she had that practical, powerful, get it done. So you do it right energy. And I always looked to her to help me know what I needed to do next and what I was missing yep. that I hadn't done. Yep. Cause there's always something. Yep. There's always something, especially yeah, and natural number eights are just amazingly good at helping us. Connect to just the wisdom that comes with our bodies. Yes. And how do we build trust? Yeah. How do you build trust through doing things together? And that trust is not easily given. And easily lost. And it's easily lost. Yeah. Let's do seven. Okay. 
All right, let's make the physical adjustment. A little bit of a lean. A little bit of lean. A little bit of focus on the forehead. Ah, third eye. One of the things I noticed looking at photos of Seven the other day was that they don't actually come forward energetically. They open. open. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like the frontalis muscles here are opening space for the third eye or the glabella. Mm -hmm. An amazing, beautiful gift that sevens give us continually and continually is the ability to see possibilities for ourselves, the world, and to create the space to bring those possibilities in. And how can things be better? There is nothing that happens in the world that can't be improved. And with including the, you. Including ourselves, yes. There's, there's, <laughs> and me. And yes. <laughs> I didn't take that personally at all. No, yeah. It because it, I know, because one of our weaknesses as not natural number sevens is resisting that change, resisting the inertia to change. Because you've probably heard the phrase, nothing changes without pain. That's not necessarily true and doesn't yeah, need to be not true. Not for our sevens, because yes. they, can, they can, you know, th they'll point out the pain points mm -hmm. if you aren't moving. Yes. But if you actually hear the messages mm -hmm. from your sevens about where to go and what to do next and what's possible and expand your... Um, your comfort zone mm -hmm. to include that which you don't already yeah. know. Change doesn't have to be painful. Change no. can be fun. Fun, exciting. But you really need a help. So most of us need a hand for natural number sevens, the, the superpower of change and knowing. And doing your best. And doing what's best, and doing what's best for the group. Natural yes. number sevens are often completely misunderstood. You have no idea how much they care. And when they're telling you things that can change, it's actually not for their benefit, it's for yours. Whether it's the team, the group, the company. Well, always. 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 Even though it may not seem that way. Yes. It may seem like they're trying to do something to get something. Yes. But they're not. No. Well, I mean, they are trying to do something to get something. But, but the something your... they're trying to get <laughs> is you... not what you think no, it is. It's not what you think it is. It so, never is. Natural number sevens, amazing gift of helping us change. Yeah. Helping us do new and amazingly wonderful things. And I'm going to take an example of someone that we think was natural number seven, specifically Steve Jobs. He changed the the face of computing he didn't make up and the music industry and the music he didn't make up the interfaces but he realized that those interfaces can be tweaked can be optimized and made into the apple product so it's not about creating things new it's making things better as much as anything else either way either because way. he also envisioned a new way to deliver music to that was really just taking the extra step of the sony walkman he yeah. took the Sony Walkman and, and shrank it. And made it better. Yeah, and made, <laughs> made it, better. it better. So existing things make it better. Yes, there is an element of creation. Absolutely. For yeah. But it's Curi often... But it comes from being curious about how things are already. And making things yeah, better. Yeah. I mean, Seven's amazing you know, houses, amazing looks. They're very, very well put together, eclectically perhaps. But they have this amazing ability to take what exists and improve it. There's a hunting quality. They're looking, they're always looking and trying to find what's going on, what's happening, yeah. how do I make it better, what can I bring in that's not here. I mean, it's an amazing drive that comes with being seven. Yeah. It's this ability to be in service and being in service by helping others. It's what they're driven to do. Yep. And, and, and boy, they're just so much fun. I have a seven daughter and we did together. And when I get with her, I come up with the most amazing, gorgeous ideas. And, and, and we just have the most fun together envisioning what might be possible mm -hmm. with thinning. Yes. <laughs> yes. Which takes cool. us to you. No, it's rule number six. <sighs> what's alive? <sighs> yeah, what's alive? Uh, what's, what's the next thing? So if you need help getting moving, you're stuck. Find a six. They'll help you get unstuck. Uh, they won't necessarily, you know, one of the things I do I, with my seven, she'll give me seven or eight choices. And then I'll, figure, I'll say, well, this one's the one, you know, like, where are we going for dinner? And I'll say, Monica, what do you, what do you think? And she'll say, you know, they're here, here, and here. And I'll say, okay, this one is the one we're going to go to. And it's always the best one to go to. <laughs> yeah. so, so six is about truth telling. It's about knowing in their bodies what is the truth, what is the most dynamic thing to happen. But it's all connected to what is the truth of now. And funnily enough, truth is you know, not static. No. Truth changes minute by minute by minute. But well, even faster than that. But yeah, <laughs> yeah <it's> six <laughs> comments. It happens instantly, and it'll change instantly because energy is not time-based. And we'll, we'll cover time in just a second. Well, no, energy is not time-based, and also there's no good or bad energy. Yes. Correct. And also, it depends on how much of the energy awareness you let into your sphere. Mm -hmm. So if I just focus my awareness of energy on a single thing, I just get the information from there. And then if I expand it or expand it in different directions, I get more information. Mm -hmm. So that also changes it. That has a, a temporal or sequence quality to it. 
So timing and truth. If you're a natural number six, then you are an amazing awareness of truth. And you've got an amazing sense of timing. The right word says at the right time can make amazing change. And it's also like if something needs to be amplified so that it can happen. Mm -hmm. So six takes in information, takes in energy, and then figures out what's the most important energy that this group of people or person or wherever you're, whatever you're working on, whatever the moment's there, what needs to happen in terms of movements, change. Uh, and so the magnification of that energy is what actually moves people yeah. or whatever needs to be moved. Mm -hmm. So shall we move to natural number five? Yes, I think so. <laughs> it's obviously the time. Okay. So natural number five. Top of the head. Top of the head. What are the gifts of natural number five? There's a few, just like all the others. My natural number is five. I move the top of it. I'm really floppy. You'll see me bouncing around all well, the time. Suspended from the top. Suspended, bouncing. Which creates this lack of tension in the body. <laughs> yes, if I'm in tension, then it's not a good thing for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> there it's true. <laughs> so five is about filling the framework and using that framework to, to help other people achieve what it is that five knows they can achieve. We're really good at reading people. Really, really good at reading people. And amazing BS detectors. We can often tell when things are not terribly consistent or um, congruent. And part of our job is to helping people understand what's congruent, what isn't. Go find what needs to get done. Find the holes. It's all part of what we do. But we're also, or at least can be, quite spiritual people. And part of my role, and it may just be for me rather than fives in general, is helping people understand that the world has a spiritual nature. I think that's a five thing. I think it's a five I mean, thing I, too. I, and that crosses male and female five, you know, there's that spiritual component. And how do things work? Talking of male and female fives, we're all interested in how things work, whether it's how relationships work, how groups of people work, or even how just that watch on your wrist works. And then how can I make that better for you? How can I give you the space to grow into it? Yes. Yes. Yes, beautiful gifts mm -hmm. um, and peace. And peace. When you're when, peaceful. When we're, when we're peaceful, yes. <laughs> but that's true of all of us, right? Yes. Our, our gift is also our Achilles heel. Yes, it's true. A prime example, we were watching TV just the other day and there was Stephen Fry, who we think is national number five, and um, Robin Williams, national number six. And the interaction between them was fascinating because Robin Williams was bouncing around from subject to subject and Stephen Fry, who's got a huge intellect but wasn't following the energy, was joining in in a very disconnected way. And it was very interesting to see the, the dynamic of a five and six working together. And just watching us, this is a prime example of dynamic of five and six working together. And we've had a lot of practice at it, Stephen Fry yes. and Robin Williams, not so much. Not but so it was much. still pretty amusing at times. But it was funny as an observer to watch how Stephen Fry was like, what did you just say? Well, you I and I have it? chosen to synchronize. Yes. Whereas yes. they were not. They were, yeah. Yes. They were going like this. <laughs> and so, so, yes. So, so we're so different. So different. All of us, all of the natural numbers. So let's. It's one, I mean, it's an important thing to remember is that the, mm. the skills and gifts from each of the natural numbers are Don't not, what, are, they're not yours. Nope. <laughs> so four. So now we move into the relationship numbers. Four is about knowing we're all connected at this life force level. And the gift is they help us to know we have emotions, to feel those emotions, to process them. To make decisions based on them. To extract the wisdom of those emotions that we feel and to get below them in order to know how to show up authentically. And that is the driving force for you, natural number fours, that authenticity. You will put people in your wonderful bubble as long as eventually, and it may be a long time, but eventually, moving towards authenticity, we all can be more authentic. Always. Always. Yes, and fours help us know when we're out of alignment with ourselves, mm -hmm. out, of, out of alignment with the world around us. Out of alignment with the pace, out of alignment with their thinking. And how do we recover? And, and we recover. so we get back into alignment from a place of authenticity. And then how do we build mm -hmm. deep, authentic, intimate connection mm -hmm. that doesn't have judgment in it? Yeah. But if you feel judgment from a four, there's judgment. <laughs> you know you're not being authentic. Yeah, you're not it's being pretty, <laughs> It's a pretty good, pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, sensor. Yeah. yeah. So how do I be with you in a way that is completely in acceptance 
yet calls you forth. Mm -hmm. And that's the gift that boars give us. If you found someone that's your best friend as soon as you meet them, and when they leave, your best friend leaves, that's probably natural number four. Because they give us this ease. This ease, this ease intimacy. Ease of being together. Yeah. There's no work in, no in work the in connection it. as long as you show up. Yeah, as long as you show up. You have to step towards them as well, but you can learn. And the, the, the magic of the natural numbers is that there's no natural number that doesn't benefit from all the others. That's really true. We all need each other so much. Yeah. And so uh, progressing, uh, interestingly, two and four are both in the body mm -hmm. and they're about how do we connect with our body. Do you want to jump to two and come back to three and then one then? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So four is in the lower abdomen and two is in the upper abdomen. And two is about how do I connect with you right here, right now? How do I show up as me? How do I adjust to be with you no matter what you bring? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and how do I connect? And how do I stay in the dynamism of our connection? And it's so wonderful to be able to be with somebody in that connection and not to ever drop that connection. Mm -hmm. You may be with a natural number two and that connection will always be there. It'll instantly come back as soon as you meet them up again. They will not drop that connection. I know over the years, if you look at all of the connections that we have sustained for years and years and years and years in this work, the mm -hmm. strongest ones are still with our twos. Yes, because they still show up. They come all the time. They check back in with us. Mm -hmm. They demand that we show up in our in relationship with them. They want us to be just who we are. Mm -hmm. you know, that and do with the job we came here to do. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's very much about being you. Yeah. And there's a difference between an authentic you and being you because the authenticity is a deeper model. You can be... The four authenticity. For the, yes. That's so there is a difference between the four authenticity and the two showing up and being you because... That four authenticity is very much about the now. It's about well, who are you at the deepest possible level. Right. It's actually not about the now. It's about the infinite you. Infinite you, yes. Right? Whereas two is very much about the now. The now now. Yes. yes. Right this minute and this, and this mm -hmm. energy and this connection as we're showing up here right now. Whereas four, it's about who we are. At the at, deeper level. At all time. In all of time. Over yes. all of time. Yes. Yes. Who are we at the life force level? Life force level. Rather than the human force level, if you will. Yes, yeah. yes, that's a good way of putting it. Mm -hmm. um, and so two is about how do I address, how do I be with you? Mm -hmm. And when you can learn to activate your two, you can just be connected with somebody just for the fun and the sake of engagement. Yeah. Learning how to engage is a really powerful skill, especially for us mm -hmm. five through nines. Yes, yes. And so you as a natural number two, you have this amazing ability to connect to people. And you may think that people... Don't, don't like, like you. you. You may think that they're not good at connecting because they're not. <laughs> because built into yes. you, part of your superpower is the knowledge about what it takes to be in relationship and with connection with people. It's built into you. Your superpower is knowing how to do it right. And the rest of us have no idea. That's right. And we muck it up all the time. All the time. We walk out without saying goodbye. Mm -hmm. We, you know. You can learn so much from your natural number twos. Yes. And so if you're our natural people. number twos, keep telling us. Yeah. Keep writing books. Keep doing presentations. Keep telling us what it's like and how we should be connected to each other. How we could be. How we could be. Yeah. Should, could. Not, yeah. A, word, not a good word. No, I'm correcting myself. It's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> should is not a good word to use. Could is an available word. Well, yeah. And, and that's, you know, this is true for all of them. It, when we imply judgment mm -hmm. within something, mm -hmm. uh, th you know, then we trigger those yes. shape, fear, and disappointment, which was yes. last week's com topic of yes. how do we recover when we get shape, fear, and disappointment. Because anyway, that's what, yes. that was a fun one. Check it out from last week. Yes. So let's do three. Three. Three is uh, on the manubrium at the top of the sternum. There's a little small, small little bone there. And you lift right there. And the one of the ways you can actually lift there is by putting your hands together, pushing your palms against each other, and then you can lift. And lower your shoulder. Yeah, let your shoulders drop and lift from here. What that does is it creates focus, tremendous focus. And what threes do is they spread joy around. And they look at you and they see who you are and they focus on you and they invite your soul into action in this very moment. Yes. So you natural number threes, you keep your focus. Oh God, we keep need those you connections. so bad. We do need you so bad. Uh, we need been, that joy. I know. I went almost a month or two without running into the three. Yeah. It was terrible. Yeah. The and world came over the other day. I was like, oh my yeah. God, thank you for coming <laughs> over. I had lost my joy. The world is very, very short of joy right now. Mm -hmm. And so if your natural number is three and people are saying, why are you smiling? Why are you happy? We need that joy. Just keep doing it. Keep doing it. You say, because I'm good at it and yeah. you need it. <laughs> <laughs>
Because we do. We do. Uh, we we, our souls fall back to sleep so quickly. Yes. And you inspire us into action from the best place within us. And we need that. That is, a, that is an amazing gift. You know when you meet somebody, you have that felt sense of the possibilities that person engenders. And your job, and you know it, is to ask those questions to help them see it too. What a gift that is, huh? Gift that to is, get yeah. to be who you're meant to be at the level of your soul. Yeah, that's, Love what these um, one, two, threes, and fours do for us. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. They make us into the better person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, all of us help each other be better people. Yes, we do. It's so, just a question of being open to that opportunity. Yes, and to be able to hear what somebody else has to say. Yeah. And I guess that's the gift of this work, is, yes. is learning to hear and receive the gifts of all of them. Because which is a beautiful place to... And, and yes, because natural number one, ah, they help us know that we're all equal. Everybody, you know that, everything, every animal should be treated equally. All beings should be honored and respected. There is a better place that we come from and we'll go back to. And it's such an emotional connection to that place. Well, what I think happens is when we really truly connect to source, which is what one helps us do, we feel the sadness of our human disconnection. Yes. And, and I think that's the, you know, that's part of that emotion. Uh, and the, but the, and the, 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 the distancing from joy, the distancing from that perfection. And but you can get through that. Yes. Oh, yes. So as you stay in the connection with one, you start to feel into that perfection of source and know that you are that as well. And so that, that level of acceptance of yourself as part of creation mm -hmm. gives you a sense of you're going to be okay and that you have value. And that's a huge gift. And that's the gift that one continually offers to all of us is to feel our connection to something greater and more impactful and powerful and yet knowing that we're part of that. Yeah, Your superpower, natural number one, is that you've been chosen to help us know these things. It's such a huge gift. And it can feel like a burden. It can feel like a burden. But just keep giving. Keep giving. Show us what vulnerability is and know that your vulnerability is strength. If you think about, you know, if there's a huge wind, what blows over? The stiff, big, giant, old trees blow over because they don't give. They don't give. Mm -hmm. But in the wind, it is the reed that is the most resistant. I mean, least resistant. <laughs> <laughs> that survives the biggest challenges. Yes. So, too, we can be vulnerable. And vulnerable doesn't mean weak. Yeah. It actually means strong. It is very hard to grow without being vulnerable. The only way to grow without being vulnerable goes back to the pain. Right, and who wants that? Who wants that? But if you can be vulnerable, you can hear the messages from the other natural numbers. You can hear the messages from your own natural number. You, you can hear change. Your own messages from yourself yes. and from source. And you can grow. And growing, we believe, is one of the things we're here to do. Yes. In relationship. In relationship. And one reminds us that. In, in physical connection to the world. Mm -hmm. To each other, to the world, to mm -hmm. the animals, to everything that exists. Mm -hmm. To the source of creation. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it's beautiful. So together, the gifts of the nine create a wholeness and mm -hmm. an ease and a completeness. Your gift is critical. You don't bring your gift. It leaves a, a hole that cannot be filled by the others. You've never been in a room that does not have your natural number in it. <laughs> but the rest of us will know if you're not doing your thing, if you're not connected to yourself. And our bodies communicate at so many levels. Mm -hmm. It is, I think, honestly correct to say that the rest of the room will know if you've activated your natural number. And if you're not working and are in, in connection or alignment. alignment or any of the other things with who you are, everybody knows. Mm -hmm. And when you do, you're a gift. You're a gift. And when you do, you can also receive the gifts yeah. from other people yeah. to know that you're more whole in community, conscious community of connection of the yeah. nine. And when we first started this work nine, ten years ago now, we thought when we had all nine together consciously, it would be exciting and incredibly dynamic. As it turns out, it's incredible, but it's incredibly calm, yep. incredibly wonderful. And easy. And easy. Yeah. So this work is not hard. 
unless you're struggling against yourself. Yeah. So that's the journey. We'd love you to come on it with us. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for listening. Yep. And we'll see you next week. Bye for now.